welcome back to electric youtube channel so in this video we will try to understand some basic concepts related to power system first of all what is power system and how it will works and what are its different types and all so let's we will start what is power system actually because like we need to understand this concept for, for example like believe that this is your home or home you are getting a single phase ac supply correct for in case of industries and all three phase ac supply they will get so but like you are not generating your power so you are getting from somewhere else so where it is like generating station like thermal station or nuclear station so that is far away from the your home or your locality so where they will generate so you know like hydro in case of hydro generator means like they need to construct a dam and from it to or uh, take a, like high uh, like high kinetic energy or potential energy of water and they need to drive the turbine of this generator and such that they should generate like three phase three phase power three phase power so for that power it needs to reach to your home so how by transmission lines this transmission line not only can directly they cannot transfer because of like we will say like we will see in deep so in order to directly they cannot transfer that's why they need to increase the voltage level that's why they are using transformers then here again they need to decrease the voltage level at the receiving end also so they need again that transformer that is called step down transformer similarly there are many equipments in the power system so for example like they will face some voltage issue power issue during that the time they will use shunt capacitors and uh, shunt reactors those like other parameters also they will use so, this is generating station side just i will say this g so this is generating stations so this is we can say generate generation side this is we are transmitting this power so that we will say transmission side transmission and this is called distribution side so there are different types of there so for example in between like substations generate this is called generating station this is substation or like grids like those things we will discuss it like in deeply just when i say like generating power means we we cannot directly generate only the active power so there is one more thing is there like this is called reactive power so reactive power also will be there so this combination we will call like apparent power or complex power so you can see like this is active power and this is reactive power and this is the total apparent power so the from the generating station we will get this generate like active and reactive power some loads also we will get so the loads some loads are consuming only resist resistive load that means only consume active power few loads will be there they will consume reactive power that means those components are having l and c in it l, l means that inductance and capacitance like how the performance during uh, each elements we will see it later so because of this reason like power system actually it is a combination of total active and reactive power reactive power face a big issue in the distribution network and uh, they need to have that uh, compensation elements in order to mitigate the power quality we'll see it later this also this reactive power will come into picture in ac system and uh, when voltage and current are not in phase so during that time this you will get the effect of this reactive power and for example the loads in the gen in the load side you will if it is a industry side you may get like more largely they will use that induction motors working in a lagging power factor that is like inductive load mainly so this because of this inductive lo load in nature so like there is a lag that's why it will 
start absorbing reactive power the system need to be feed the reactive power also into that load section so some few loads are only as i told resistance only for example we will see first of all when system having pure resistive load Okay, pure resistive load. For example, you see in the pure resistive load, so I have one resistance and uh, current is flowing through that resistor is high and the voltage across that resistor is uh, resistance is that uh, V. For uh, that means, like in simple, simply I will show you. Okay, this is my generator from the generating station. I have one transmission line. This is network. This is load. Okay, in the load, I am having only resistive load. That means there is only resistance is there. There is no other elements. That LNC is not there. Only pure resistive load is there. So when there is a pure resistive load, means we know by Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. That means voltage by resistance. V always will be Z voltage at an angle zero. We have sending end voltage and receiving end voltage. Correct. So this is sending end voltage. Along with we need to have the angle also. In in the load side we usually take zero degree for this receiving end. Voltage. So we need to talk with respect to this load side. We what is the generator? Uh, so generation side so are sending end voltage angle. So in order to transmit a active power, sorry, in order to transmit a power, and that means like uh, P, we this this delta should be more than this. So then only your P will be flow actually. For example, in for similarly for Q, this V S should be greater. V S should be greater than should be greater than V R. V S should be greater than V R. Then only Q will flow in this direction. So otherwise, this will not flows at all or uh, some uh, like it won't consume the power this is load side active power flows from reactive power flow from high voltage magnitude to low voltage magnitude similarly active power flows it depends on the angle high like high voltage angle to low voltage angle generally this delta value should be positive in for the generation of power so whenever there is a only resistance in the load side what will happen to the power factor so power factor as i told this is also very important topic so when that means i is equal to v by r tends also in that so when there is no resistance means so we will get i also at an angle zero okay then we know that V and I both are in in phase. That means there is no phase difference between these two quantities. Per factor is nothing but cos phi. Correct. That means cos phi is equal to zero degree. So S is equal to you can see E I conjugate V I conjugate c active power p is nothing but so this s that is v into i that is we will say like s into cos phi cos phi so similarly for q also like we will take this s into sin phi so here phi means this is zero so uh, conjugate means 
ಆಂಗಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಟು ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಬಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಝೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಓಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಝೀರೋ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಟ್ ಎನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಝೀರೋ ದೆನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಫೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಫೈ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯುನಿಟಿ ಪವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಜನರಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜನ್ರೇಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನಸ್ ಮಿಷಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ 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 ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ example in case of transmission line also conductors are there so there is no there is less resistance compared to its reactance so this generation and transmission line side only resistance are very less so like it is generally inductive in nature so by default there is you won't get pure resistive load okay so if you get the pure resistive load also like next video we will see the later like resistive load that means it is having this resistance uh, resistance and both the inductance also when r and l will comes into picture what will happen to our this value and similarly when r and c and pure l those those combinations we will see and we will analyze a vector representation and uh, we will find out i would like to take this precious moment to say thanks to who are liking and keep on supporting um, by commenting on our videos so stay tuned and keep watching if you have any types of doubts and any clarification or if you want to tell you anything on this video so we will try to figure it out in the next video so thank you thank you all